Hello, and welcome to another tournament with me, Casey's Crag. So I've joined this here tournament. It is called Pangea. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Pangea. I don't remember. Ult Pangea Ultima 1v1 Strategic. So yes. First of all, let's go over the tournament settings. We use this map here, which has... Uh, this many territories, 136, 27 bonuses, there are uh, some 6 bonuses around, uh, there's some there's one 2 bonus over here, I think that's the only 2 bonus, there's another 6, there's some 4s, it just, it looks like a decent map, interconnected, you know, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's a little weird. Oh, I see, because they're all isolated. Okay. That's why it's a two bonus and not a three, because it's so hard to get to them. It's like you can only get to them from here and here. So he made it worth less. Okay, I can see that. So Europe, over here, Southern Sahara, Northern Sahara, North Africa, West Africa. These are all positions assuming the Earth divides up these continents like this guy is the Amazon and Argentina and this is the west coast or what would eventually become the west coast of the US and northwest I guess Alaska is in there alright anyway eastern US, South Africa, India all these different places there are a lot of three bonuses that's the first thing that comes to mind about this map a lot of three bonuses a lot of three bonuses. A lot. This one is the worst in terms of efficiency, I believe. At first glance, that appears to be the only one, the only three bonus that has five territories. And again, it's for the same reason this is, uh, this is a two bonus. It's because it's very hard to get to. There are only two ways to get in. And for this, there are a few more, but it's very isolated. So I can see why. Anyway, so that's the map. Cool stuff, right? And here we go. We have the tournament settings right here. Three-day boot. Doesn't matter for you much. Matters for me. Um, manual distribution, of course. Random Warlords. Three per player territories, uh, four to armies per player territory. Same settings as medium earth here. Um, strategic 1v1 medium earth. Uh, seven wastelands, they're all of size 10. Uh, there's a reinforcement card and four pieces for five armies. Order priority card and six pieces. And order delay card and five pieces. And a blockade card and you start with 19 pieces so you have one blockade card to start off with and this blockade card has the same settings as strategic 1v1 zero percent luck modifier and it's weighted random rounding so that's uh... and of course standard attack and defense skill rates um, okay so that means that it's still an eighty percent chance to take with a three Okay, so let's go into my game now that I have introduced everything. My first opponent is Arlequino, who is a pretty good player. So this will be uh, this will be difficult. This will this is ver my very first time playing this map. So if you're expecting a master, uh, you shouldn't. I expect I very well could lose this game. Hopefully I will prefer, perform an upset though. I intend to. So, ooh, wastelands here, 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 here. So this guy, this guy, they're out of the way. That makes this guy pretty safe, especially since you're so far away. So I'll just go ahead and keep that there and you two or threes that are in a decent spot interesting 
Okay, so this is a possible combo. It's not that amazing, but it's a combo. Uh, just to make this guy taking it a little easier. There is a one turn three bonus over here, although it would be fairly easy to eat. It would be fairly easy to counter, so I'm not going to. But this is my one two. Um, obviously, I'm not going to start there. Uh, Caucasus, Ukraine, there's a combo here. Um, what else? I guess you could have a combo here, although that would be a little questionable. Just because this would take so long to take and it's easily countered by this guy, but whatever. Um, hmm. There's a combo here as well these two and it's fairly hidden um I definitely want to cover this I'm not sure I really want to try and trap it though I like this guy up here he's a cool three bonus I think he would be good to counter this if I think yeah I think that's what I'll try to do I could go with you number one you number two he's a decent player over here, pretty strong, just to control this area. And then I could go like 3-4 over here, although I think I'd prefer it the other way around. 3 and then 4, and then beyond that, I could see going for either one of you guys. Hmm. Okay, basically this puts me in a position where I would have a pretty safe bonus over here. Uh, then I'd have this guy, which is not quite as safe, but he is a good counter to this and this, and this and this. So he's a pretty good guy over there. Pretty cool. Um, these two, of course, are a one-turn take. They're just a decent combo. Uh, one turn three bonus is fairly strong especially if I got this guy if I got this guy I would be very good over here now the only problem with this is of course that uh, this would be fairly slow to get to this area I would have to come around here so if he had let's say a combo over here and a pick I don't know wherever over here over here, let's say he got this guy and these two. Um, and I was stuck with this guy and these two. Well, I wouldn't really be able to, to utilize the one turn bonus then, so. That would be unfortunate. I'd have to come over through here. And I think I would still have an advantage over him in that case. Hmm. Mainly because if I think the way this travels. It's two turns to get here, to get over here, and unless he had a combo here, actually yeah, if he had a combo here he would he would be in a better spot than I would because he could get to Thailand and uh, he could get there before I could get to Thailand, so. Hmm, interesting. Um, well, I think this is sort of good though. It covers this area decently well. It, uh, especially if I get, could get my one two. That's really what I am sort of banking on here. If I could get my one two, then I would be pretty well set. And especially if I, uh, if I got like a uh, my one two and then maybe a three over here I would know that he is over here I would be pretty sh well actually no I wouldn't because this is sort of a safer combination I would know that he might be over here but that's about it instead I think my goal would be to take uh, these two quickly and uh, get into a position over here to take him down here. Hmm. 
I don't know if he would want to go for this though with uh, with India being what it is right over here that's actually a decent now there's he wouldn't I don't know it could be countered by Myanmar but normally you wouldn't expect that because this is a bigger threat on the board and this is a bigger threat on the board or more easily accessible or trappable bonus so hmm I guess the only real question is do I want to there is a decent way to get over through here over in Great Valley and Baja but that still takes a while oh well all right well I guess we'll see what happens I am going to go connect. and he got this guy over here and I forgot to turn the sound off okay so that's not bad I know where two of his picks are all I need to do now is make sure I'm not overwhelmed immediately that's not bad okay so I guess what I'll plan on doing then is going over here and using these guys to take Moscow next turn as for you guys I believe I will go three and four and I know he's not in my immediate vicinity so that's good let's see actually what should I go for first he could be down here so I don't necessarily want to move out of here yet I do know that he has the one turn bonus over here though that's not so bad especially since I have this capability to go down here oh oh I believe it's pretty clear what I should do actually I should go to Moscow and then begin making my way down shouldn't I Moscow I guess I could go to Permantomsk and then West Krasik or Krasnojarsk Krasnoyarsk um, and at the same time trying to take this he won't be here or here there is a danger he could be here so I am in a decent position to counter this but that's about it okay Let's see what we can do. I guess. I will. Yes, because I will be taking these guys as well. So I'll be moving in here a little later. I will just sit here, of course. All right, well, or actually, I guess you should go first and then three and four because he can't see you. All right, well, we'll see what happens when turn advances. Um, hopefully I made a decent decision. I guess what this shows is that I should have trapped this. I should have trapped it. I should have went one, two, three, four, and then had a five right here. And then I would have been pretty good. I would have been pretty set for victory at that point. Or if I went with a combo, like uh, this guy, these two over here. And uh, so like one, two, three, four, five. That, but that would have been expecting him to... Uh, uh, to make a mistake because in that case those picks would be a complete mistake but oh well the good news is that I know where he is the bad news is it will take me a little bit to get there 
That's fine. We'll see what happens when turn advances. And turn has advanced, so let's watch. And I forgot to turn off the sound again. Bristol Bay, Leningrad, Doyon, or Doyon, I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, so he clearly took his first turn bonus in all likelihood. I do not know where his third spot is, of course. So, what I will do is I will expand here. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then I suppose, I think actually I would like to go for both of these. And then of course this guy. So let's go here first, here second. Just in case I don't get it the first time, I'll go for it again. And it doesn't matter if I... Uh, it, it doesn't matter if this guy's useful or not. Um, I can still use him to take note of it next turn. What I, I mean to say is, if this guy, if this attack fails, it doesn't matter um, whether it fails or not to this guy right here, because he'll still be useful over here in any case. So, anyway, let's see. Other than that, I suppose I will take with three here and three here and hope I get lucky. I think I have a slightly over 50% chance to get this. Slightly. Let's see. 64. 0.64 times 0.8. I believe 0.8 four fifths of 64% so I should get this, hopefully. Or there's about an even chance I'll get these three guys. This guy, well, I won't get all of them in all likelihood. <laughs> I did get Madagascar. I did not get Kamchatka. That sucks. I did get Spain. I get Moscow? Yes. Okay, that's a little funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess I will... I'll just take the rest of this. And at the same time, get this with two, four, four, two. So I should be reasonably good on income, I suppose. You should be last. I don't have any leftovers over here, though. Oh, well. So they killed two with each attack. All right, well, we'll see what happens when... Arlecchino, or whatever his name is, does his turn. And see you later. And turn has advanced. So let's watch. You can see my placements. Of course I take Kamchatka. Now I just need to hope he doesn't appear and hit me anywhere. Like over here. Okay, he didn't. Good. Sweet. Okay, I'll get a card next turn. Um, another turn after that I'll get an order delay card. Okay, so that means this was his third pick. So what he did, I bet, is he got this first turn, hit this with a three, this with a four, this with a four, and um, hmm, I guess he could have tried to take this as well. It's a little... Uh, that actually would not be a good idea. Just because if he tried to take this, then he would have some real trouble getting this. Um, well, if he tried to take this second turn, he could potentially try going, taking this first turn, and this second, tur second turn if he hit this on the first turn, but um, if he did that, let's see, 8... 
let's say he had two surviving here, hitting with a three, he had two left over, so one guy that can attack. Yeah, he would have a lot of trouble with that. Because he couldn't take this on the third turn then. He'd have to wait till the fourth turn to get it. Yeah. I believe. Because that would require... No, I guess if he wanted to risk with 3, 3, and 3, then he could try that. But that's not really smart. I don't think he did that. I think what he did is he uh, hit with 3, 4, 4. And he could have hit, he could have not hit. It, it doesn't make that much of a difference to me right now. Um, but anyway, what he did after that was he hit on... Or what he did over here... On the second turn, he placed one here, hit with hit with four in Kuyo. This is the optimal situation. And took this, so he has two leftovers that can be used over here and over here. Three total guys. And then he uh, used his other seven guys. Let's say he had two leftover that could attack over here as well. So he would place two more to make it a, f a total of five guys here with the three... Minus the one guy that has to stay, so you hit with four over here, and uh, then he would, let's see, that would be three, he could just place five here, and hit uh, hit king high, and uh, let's say he had the maximum leftovers there as well. He would also move the leftovers from here to Gensu, and move these guys to Saka. And then he would be able to use the leftovers here and here to hit this with very minimal losses. This is on turn three. He could hit this with minimal losses. I mean with minimal expenditure of reinforcements. Maybe one. Maybe two if he got unlucky. Most likely just one. And then he'd have to place one or two over here. And then with his... Uh, he'd have to place... Uh... I don't know, four over here to get Argentina and he could do it and he could get all three of these places in uh, in three turns. That's the optimal scenario so I'm going to assume that that's what he did and that he has all three of these so he's actually got a one income lead or one reinforcement lead, 15 to my 14. Now the guys that he had left over here he could use to hit East Krasnodarsk to get a territory. Otherwise, uh, his leftovers will all be in southern Xinjiang or Tibet. So over here he can't he can't take anything with these leftovers. He's got to move them over here or probably together to King High to hit West Krasnodarsk or to move down into South West Asia. So, uh, the good news is he can't really take a territory this turn. So, I think what I'll do is I'll do something like this. And... I think what I'll do is I'll just sit here and he'll probably have to place uh, if he did have a leftover that moved back to Saka if he didn't just lose both of his or two out of the three in the attack then he will uh, he will need to place at least two guys here so he won't be able to hit me with everything unless he wants to risk not getting a territory which he could do the only problem with that is if he does that Next turn, I will have a reinforcement card, provided I don't get unlucky over here. Um, so what's the most he can hit me with? 15, 17. He can hit me with 17 guys. And 17 will kill. Defender has, let's say, 11. 17 will most likely just kill 10. Now, how much will 14 on the defense kill? 9 or 10? 
Attacker loses 10, basically. Just about 10. So he'd lose 10, and I would lose 10. If he hit me as it is. Let's assume I have 13. He will lose 9. I will still lose 10. Now the only problem is that he will also have additional guys from Patagonia also coming up here so that's why I feel like I need to have one more guy over here to get that extra kill if he does choose to just place everything and hit. Um, hmm. Otherwise Basically what will happen is I'll go down to four guys here. Let's, let's just look at it the other way first. Alright. Let's just look at it this way. Let's say he hits me and I have three left over. He moves probably two guys up to per, uh, Piranha from Patagonia. So one or two guys left overs up there. And uh, in addition to what he already had placed, and he lost nine. He should lose nine from this. So let's say he loses nine from his 17, uh, 18 total actually. 18 that he, 18 that he would have the stack here of 17 that could attack. He would lose 10, so he'd have seven plus two more so nine and next turn he'd be able to place 15 so he would have 24 I would be able to place 19 19 plus um, 19 plus 20 plus 3 sorry is 22 the only problem with that is that he could have his reinforcements in place by or his uh, leftovers in place to take a territory that next turn so he would still get a, he would get a card at that point he would be one turn late, but he would still get a card if he hit with everything. Uh, that's the only problem. That's the reason I have to do this with three. It's because he would get that card piece and I'd be in trouble. <laughs> so yeah. I think I'll go with this and I'm going to try to slowly approach him down here and hopefully not get overwhelmed in Coats Land. Hopefully. Let's go for it.